Hello, hello, it's Julie Davison from juliedavison.com. I'm so excited that you are joining me today. I am live on Facebook. It's been a while. I'm so happy to be here and I feel like I should be live on Facebook a little bit more. I'll be posting this to YouTube later. So no matter where you're tuning in, please leave a comment and say hello. Let me know what you are doing today. I just returned back from the Stampin' Up! Backstage Conference, a leader conference um, in Las Vegas. Oh my gosh, it was such an action-packed couple days and I took one extra day to relax and sit by the pool and just kind of do nothing and it was fantastic just what I needed but I am back home now and getting right back to work and so today I wanted to jump on and I want to just show you what my product share includes I do this every time there's a new catalog it's a little bit of all the designer paper and a little bit of all the ribbon but I also have some card ideas to show you today in fact I have over 40 card ideas featuring things from the brand new catalog I have almost I have almost a card for every single designer paper. I think there's one um, one exception. So I'm going to walk through the designer paper and share some samples with you. And then I've got some that don't have designer paper. Um, and so I'll share those at the end. But I think you're going to be really inspired. Now, the September through December 2023 mini catalog doesn't start until next week on Thursday, September 6th. So we still have a little while. I know you guys are making out your wish list as we're sharing um, ideas and samples. And so if you're not a demonstrator, you'll have to make out your wish list and get ready. Um, to order on September 6th. Of course, if you're not a demonstrator yet and you want to join my Stampin' Up! family, you can choose new products from the catalog now in your starter kit. So that's a great way to get a nice deal on some new stuff and get it early. Um, okay, so today I'm walking through. I can't open up the catalog, but I'm going to walk through the paper and I'm going to have the catalog um, over here for me as a reference because um, I don't know all the names yet. <laughs> all right, we are, uh, we are going to walk through all the papers, but I wanted to to share this several times. You can sign up and get all of this right here. Uh, a six by six piece of all the designer paper, a yard of every ribbon, and my product share will include a brand new back pocket card layout that is exclusively for the product share. So I'm really excited about that. I've got it in order and it is scheduled to be delivered on September 6th. So right when I place the order to the product share, you'll, um, I'll be getting those cards to include in every product share order. Okay, so again, if you want to sign up for a product share, you can do that at tinyurl.com slash SD2023 product share. SD stands for September through December. That link is in the video description, so you can check it out right now. But let's get into it. Um, I have to say I almost missed this first designer paper because it is in the front of the catalog. Um, and if you have your catalog, it's on page five. It's called A Walk in the Forest. And this is a special Making a Difference product, which means that Stampin' Up! will donate $3 um, to organizations, let's see, dedicated to spreading cheer and providing support to those in need. Um, and so every package that you purchase, they'll donate $3. Um, so I'm excited about that. This is a 12 by 12 designer paper and these colors are fantastic. We've got some balmy blue, old olive, garden green, pecan pie, pretty peacock, and some cherry cobbler. So pretty. You might remember I shared some projects using this designer paper um, in a recent video and so I'm going to show you those. Now this does coordinate with both the, um, the polar bear punch and it coordinates as well with the merriest tree dies, which I don't have yet, but I'm really excited. So you can cut out the trees, you can punch out the bears. And so I made three cards using this designer paper. And this one actually changed up from the, um, from the live that I did. I moved the designer paper over and I added some strips of designer paper underneath the circle, which I just really felt like anchored the sentiment a little bit more. I also made a sidestep card you might remember that I was inspired by paper pumpkin projects when I made these and I fussy cut um, the tree from the designer paper as well as the trees from the polar bear stamp set and then lastly I made this one where again I fussy cut the um, the tree from the designer paper and punched out the bear from this walk in the forest designer paper oh thanks so much for sharing Tony I'm so glad you guys are joining me today now you'll have to leave a comment and let me know if you're a demonstrator 
If you've ordered something, leave a comment and let me know that you've ordered it. If you're not a demonstrator, even if you are, if you see something that catches your eye, leave a comment and let me know because I'm just getting started playing with all these goodies. And so I want to know what you guys are excited about. If you're really excited about a paper that I don't have a lot of samples for, I will know that you want to see more of that. So leave lots of comments and let me know what do you have if you're a demonstrator? What are you looking forward to ordering? Um, what's on your list? Um, and hopefully, you'll be inspired by what I share today. Okay, so a walk in the forest designer paper, and I'm going to stick these in the back of my box, and this at the bottom of my pile. Our next um, our next designer paper is from the Mary and Mary Bold and Bright. That's a tongue twister. Um, sweet, and it includes, look at this, foil paper, melon mambo, and granny apple green. Um, these are both 12 by 12, and you get two sheets, 12 by 12 of those um, in the package. And then this designer paper, Mary Bold and Bright, is also 12 by 12. I'm missing a sheet. Here it is. <laughs> um, it does include... Um, it does include six different patterns, um, and they are double-sided. Look at how bright and fun these are. I think this is so cool that you can use this designer paper not only for Christmas, but also for other things, other occasions like birthdays and um, fun things. On this side with the white patterns, we do have some trees, two different style um, Christmas lights, but these rainbow polka dots and rainbow stripes um, and warm dots, these can be used for so many different things. So I do have two samples to share. Um, this one I shared before. I cased this right from the catalog. Again, we're on page eight and nine in the September through December 2023 mini catalog. I can't share the pages, but if you're following along with your catalog at home. And then I made this for one of my swaps. I used a different stamp set, but I used a little bit of that Mary Bold and Bright designer paper and a new embossing folder, which I borrowed from Margo. Thanks so much, Margo. This is the Countryside Inn or Countryside Corner um, dies. And then the stamp set, of course, I forgot the name of it. Um, <laughs> it is also a new one and it's got four different stamps, I think, that are that same kind of style. Um, I'm sure I'll come across it. Oh, here it is. The stamp set is called Joy to You. Uh, and if you have your catalog, it's on page 21. In fact, let me share the Joy to You. Here's another sample with the Joy to You, um, the sentiment from it. And this is a fun die set um, that doesn't have a coordinating stamp set. It's on the same page as that Joy to You, which, what did I say, page 24? Um, and... Let me look up the name of the dies. Oh, 21, on page 21. The die set is called Handcrafted Element Dies, and it has this uh, beautiful ornament as well as this oval, which is underneath the ornament here. Oh my gosh, these cards are gorgeous. I don't have this die set, but I'm so happy to have these samples. This one is from Sandy Carlson, and it looks like she cased it right from the catalog. Oh my gosh, I love that. New embossing folder here that she used with the Lost Lagoon, and this one is from Dina Rico, and she used another new embossing embossing folder, sort of that distressed um, tile. Oh my gosh, so gorgeous. So if you love detailed dies with the stitching and embossing, oh my gosh, you're going to love that. And then of course that um, Joy to You stamp set, which has just some fun, bold sentiments that kind of go skinny and then get thicker. So there are four different stamps in that set. All right, so the uh, Marion Bold, we've got gorgeous designer paper. Also in the product share, you're going to get one yard of the ribbon that's part of that suite as well, which is called White Half Inch Iridescent Ribbon. And this is how I put all the ribbon um, for my product share. I put them on the cardboard like this so that you can um, see and use them all and keep them nice and handy to coordinate with the paper. So that's what I love about the product share is you kind of get to try a little bit of everything without having to buy all of it yourself because I know when a new catalog comes out of course you want to have some money left over for your favorite stamps and punches and dies and so doing a product share and trying a little bit of all the designer paper and ribbon this way is just a great way to try it all and then decide what you like and what you want a bigger package of now this next suite has two different designer papers in it and it is called 
Oh, Holy Night. Um, so that is the name of this designer paper. And these are 12 by 12. I did share the bigger 12 by 12 um, images of them in my unboxing video. But in the product share, you're going to get 6 by 6. So um, this Oh Holy Night is 12 by 12. And it has some gorgeous imagery and textures, um, which are really um, beautiful with the night sky. And then I don't think any of these sample images show it, but some of them have then the hilltops and the um, you know, sort of the, they look more like a big scene. So pretty. And I don't have the, um, the coordinating bundle yet, the night divine, but it's on my list. I'm trying so hard to pace myself. <laughs> the other designer paper in this one is called shining brightly. It is also a 12 by 12 designer paper. This package only comes with one of each sheet. There's six different patterns, actually three different patterns that are each available in different colors. Cause you can tell here we've got the Navy and the vanilla that are the same pattern. And again, here with the stars and then the leaves as well. So you're getting six sheets of the gold foil and the navy and the vanilla. Now these are not double-sided. These are single-sided specialty sheets. Um, and they coordinate, of course, with the suite. But I think these are so versatile and are going to go with so many things. The ribbon that goes with this suite, beautiful. This navy glitter organdy. It's a half inch. Um, wide, maybe a little bit bigger. Do, 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 do. No, nope, half inch. Um, oh my gosh. I know this is going to be a favorite. It's kind of that sheer, um, with the glitter. We have white and black ribbon, or we had black ribbon that retired, but, um, oh my gosh, so beautiful. So more to come. This is, I think, the only suite that I don't have any samples of, um, but I just can't wait to dig in once I get those coordinating stamps and dies. So I also have a lot more swaps that I haven't received yet. I participated in three different swaps and so I'm sure I'll have some samples coming from those swaps as well um, to share. So let's move on though to the next designer paper and oh that is the Berry Christmas. This is so cute. I started with this punch bundle just because um, it's a little bit cheaper and it has the um, the stamp set and then the polar bear punch. So check out this designer paper that matches. Not only do we have that walk in the forest um, designer paper but we also have this one that coordinates with the bear punch. So we've got gorgeous colors here. Balmy blue, real red, old olive, misty moonlight, night of navy, and very vanilla. And then on the back side, we have more of a, I'm going to say subtle pattern, right? Something that's not so busy. Oh my gosh, I just love that scene. Um, now these friends, forest friends, you can all fussy cut. Um, but this one with the bears, some of them with the bear and all fours do punch out. And then the other ones you would have to fussy cut. But oh my gosh, so fun. I just love that. So these patterns are so great together. And you can use these not only with the bear set, but with so many other different things. I could totally see some mittens or something like that. Here are some cards that I made. I made this one for a swap using that same um, countryside corners. In fact, do you recognize <laughs> this is the same layout as the bright and beautiful uh, Mary Bold and Bright or whatever that was. Same layout here with the countryside corner. Um, Dai is just choosing some different designer paper. A new embossing folder. This one is called Snowflake Sky. And I also used some of the glitter dots, the little glitter sequins that are included in the suite as well. So those are stamped images here and then the designer paper. Here's a card I got from Betsy Kreider. Oh my gosh, I love this. She fussy cut this from the designer paper. And then she has this little mini card on top of the uh, quarter card front. So fun, misty moonlight and real red. I love the contrast of the colors here. And finally, one more card that I've created. I stamped and punched here and used the embossing folder in the background and then added some designer paper. This one was actually um, cased from the catalog towards the back. Um, I think near the bundle index. I don't remember. Somewhere in the back. Uh, but I really love this one. I love the bright colors and the fun images. So so clean and simple and beautiful. Now this one has the um, balmy blue ribbon with the glitter. This one, the velvet. Oh my gosh, so beautiful. I don't know why I didn't use it on the card here. This is the one that goes with the Mary Bold and Bright. Uh, but you'll get a yard of ribbon and you can mix and match and use that with your designer paper. And so I think you can see how you can easily create cards with the designer paper. Like this one is all from the designer paper and then an additional sentiment from another set. Um, okay, so that's the 
Berry Christmas. There is coordinating memories and more cards and envelopes that I shared in another video. Um, those are not included in the product share this time. Oh, let me share this one really quick while I'm flipping through the catalog. I got this beautiful swap from Rhonda Wade using the new Fragrant Forest design, not designer paper, background. So it looks like designer paper, but this, all these trees are one big stamp. So pretty. I didn't get this one yet, but after seeing Rhonda's gorgeous card with the silver and the gray and the pop of red, I am sure thinking about it. There is another big background stamp. You'll find them both on page 27. So this is the one with the trees called the Fragrant Forest. And there's also one that has um, trees and deer called the Graceful Deer. That one reminds me so much of my grandmother who used to paint the deer that would come by their home. Um, okay, moving right along, our next designer paper is called Joy of Christmas, and this is one of my favorites, I think just because of the traditional colors, the red and the green, the poinsettias and the holly, um, this one just makes me think of Christmas so much. This also has two um, different paper packs um, in this suite, and so the specialty paper is called Joyful, 12 by 12 specialty paper. This is also one that is blank on the other side. So we've got the foil designs in um, shaded spruce, cherry cobbler, and then the gold and white. And you get two sheets each of the 12 by 12 paper in a package. The product share will include six by six pieces. So you can try a little bit of everything and see if you want more. This also is a 12 by 12 paper called Joy of Christmas. And in the product share, you'll get the six by six pieces to try. We've got gorgeous designs, like I said, classic Christmas. And on the other side, some really nice, um, solid color patterns in pecan pie, shaded spruce, early espresso, and real red cherry cobbler, both of those reds in there, and pebbled path, a little bit of pebbled path in there. This one is so beautiful. Like I said, one of my favorites, traditional Christmas right here. Um, and so here's a card that I made and shared already. This is part of my 12 days of Christmas video. I used some die cuts um, and some designer paper pieces here. And then this is one that I shared in a Sunday stamping video with mom. We did a sneak peek with um, the the take your pick crafters edition, the, the new um, tips for the take your pick tool. And so I shared a little zipper card where you can put a gift card in there. That was such a fun one. I'll try to add the link to all these videos where I've shared these cards specifically so you can see how to make them. And then I received a swap card from Celine Kempton, a little um, pocket gift card right there. I love how she used the designer paper. Um, a little bit of the, um, Music note, embossing folder, and the Santa was here, um, comes from, oh, which stamp set? It's a new stamp set. I was just looking at it. Um, so, so many great ways to use that designer paper. So fun. This one's called Joy of Christmas, and um, I think it's going to be, I think it's going to be a popular one. So, um, so fun. Classic Christmas. Now, the ribbon that coordinates with that one is this one here. It's the large check black and very vanilla ribbon. Really beautiful. All right, I have another one that had the same coloring. Um, and this uses a different tree stamp set in the catalog. I just passed it. Let me see if I can go back. It's on page 20, um, if you're interested. It's called Forever Forest Bundle. A really beautiful set of um, trees and dyes, um, detailed, and their stamp images. So if you are looking for a new tree set, this one's beautiful. This swap card is from Leanne Griff. All right, let's move right along. This next suite is also beautiful. It is called Winter Meadow, and um, it has a specialty paper in it as well. So we have, both of these are gonna be 12 by 12 when you buy the full pack. So I'll start with the, um, the regular designer paper called Winter Meadow. Um, and the colors are just gorgeous. Misty Moonlight, Blueberry Bushel, Pretty Peacock, Lost Lagoon, and some Moody Mauve in there too. Um, I love, it kind of looks like crystals, watercolor here. Oh my gosh, look at those trees. So beautiful. This reminds me of some paper that we've had in the past um, called First Frost, but it's a little bit different um, and uses some different colors. I just think they're so gorgeous. 
Oh, look at that. I love that. We also have this specialty paper called Snowflake Magic. And again, this is single-sided specialty paper with the foil. And the foil color here is Lost Lagoon and Silver. So we've got a very bright color, which I would say is not so much Lost Lagoon. Um, I would say that's closer to like a balmy blue, almost a Bermuda Bay, um, and then the silver and white. And then this has got really the Lost Lagoon with a brighter foil. Um, really just beautiful paper. So I do have a few samples that use these designer papers. This first one is one that I shared already using the coordinating bundle called Magic Meadow. A little bit of the designer paper, the specialty paper here embossed with that snowflake sky. And then I created another one. I don't think I've shared this one yet. I'm um, using the image here with the deer. Oh, I love that a little stamping and then some of the white glitter organdy ribbon. So those are two that I've made. Um, and then this one is a swap card I received from Kathy Miller using the stamps and the die cut images from that magic meadow. I um, love that kind of fun fold where she cut out the middle and then turned it and used it to bridge the gap there. I call it a cut apart card, but I know it's got a few other names. So pretty. If you turned tuned in on Sunday, you saw our stamp along Sunday stamping and I created this card with this new snowflake. Um, I think it's called snowflake splendor. Um, it is on page 39, right after the Winter Meadow Suite, which is on page 36 and 37. So I used the sparkling snowflakes um, to create this one with the new tag topper punch, and I used that specialty paper with the countryside corner um, dies. I love the way that turned out. So many gorgeous ways that you can use these designer papers. Well, the catalog is always set up so that we've got Christmas, which is the most popular at the beginning of the catalog, and then we go into winter. And then at the end of the mini catalog, we get into our autumn and Halloween. And so our last two suites here, actually there's three more. Um, the All About Autumn is the next one. And this is a gorgeous six by six paper pack, which I always love because it means that you get more designs. This six by six paper pack includes 12 different designs and you're getting um, four sheets of each one in the package and the product share you'll get one of each um, you've got beautiful photographic images here some of my favorite fall shots with the sun setting and the colors and the leaves and the trees um, and then I'm going to show you all of these but let me turn it over really quick and show you on the other side is these foil designs more um, monochromatic but um, also some that have several different colors that are just so gorgeous. So even if you don't like the photo side, oh my gosh, this paper pack is just so beautiful. Okay, so I'm gonna show you all these designs and then I'll flip them over. We've got a sweater, we've got the fall road and the wood grain. Here's an aerial shot, that's so cool. A little bit of like corduroy, it kind of reminds me of a big couch cushion. I just wanna snuggle up. Some different colored pumpkins and gourds. Books, which I think is so interesting, but is gonna make great masculine cards. Here's another one with the leather. Oh my gosh, a close up of the books. And uh, this one might be my favorite sheet. I just love the way the sun catches those colors. All right, gorgeous fall imagery on this side. And again, on the back side, we have these awesome foil papers in the coordinating colors, Mossy Meadow, Moody Mob, um, Copper Clay, Pretty Peacock, some very vanilla, um, just beautiful. There's also a specialty paper, and this is also 12 by 12. It's called Oxidized Copper. And you get the two different patterns, copper and the, pr the pretty peacock with the copper. Um, and so, of course, this is included in the product share. You'll get two sheets, um, one of each color. Um, and the, the ribbon that's part of this suite is this one. It's a, it's a pack that includes both the natural ribbon and this um, shiny metallic copper um, that are, are so great. Let me show you. I got a lot of samples of this suite because, um, I don't know, I guess I always start with autumn because it, it comes before Christmas. And so that's why I, I always use it first. Uh, here's a swap card from Carol Nordquist. Um, one from Lisa Brown. I got to open this up because I think it's got a fun fold. Um, I was so excited to see Lisa at backstage. Isn't that cool? I think we've called that a picnic table card or um, an accordion stand up or tower 
think, I think this card's got a few different names, but I love that it folds flat like a regular card and will fit into a regular size envelope. And you've got room to write there on the back. So thank you so much to Lisa for that swap. Here is a card that I created with the stamps, a little bit of the ribbon. This fun label die is part of that autumn leaves bundle that coordinates with this suite. Check out this one. Oh my gosh, I love the way this turned out. The specialty paper, that copper oxidized paper on top of some of the foil. And then these die cuts are part of that um, set as well. So beautiful. Oh my gosh, this one is gorgeous from Susie Wood. I love the way she used the ink embossing folder technique back there with the brick wall um, and the colors here. Oh, perfect crumb cake along with the um, pecan pie, the new color. Oh, so beautiful. This one using the stamps, not any of the designer paper, but it coordinates all with this suite. Here's another one that I created. I used a little bit of that distressed um, tile 3D embossing folder, which is part of the suite. A little bit of that ribbon fraying the ends, a little bit of that oxidized copper paper, as well as the designer paper, and some stamped images with the leaves. Uh, another sample here from Natalie Travis. Um, this is a new oval punch that I am just in love with. It's so beautiful. We've got this distressed tile 3D embossing folder in the background, and then the one and a half by three inch panels of designer paper. Now I do have a couple more samples that are in the autumn mix of things and they, one of them does use a little bit of this designer paper, uh, but not the same stamp set. So I'm going to bring those in next. This is, oh, I love this, from Dawn Olszewski and she used a little bit of that paper along with this pick of the patch bundle. This is a punch bundle that um, has these fun um, pumpkin stamps. And here's a card that I made um, with the same bundle. I didn't use any designer paper on this one. You might remember that I um, created this for a 12 Days of Christmas card or a uh, video, and I used the stencils, the masks, decorative masks, to um, to sponge the background here. Now, if you're looking for the pick of the patch bundle, it's on page 51 of the mini catalog. And while I'm sharing samples, here's one more that Mom shared during our Sunday stamping video, where we're sharing. Um, projects with that tool, the uh, pick, uh, take your pick tool, crafter um, add-on, whatever. <laughs> it's a bookmark card, so you can tear that off the front. Oh my gosh, I love this new pick of the pack punch in pumpkin, pick of the patch pumpkin bundle. Whether you're using designer paper like Don did, these colors are gorgeous, or just mixing and matching with some other elements, I think you're really going to love that new fall bundle. All right, all about autumn, so pretty. Um, next up, we're going to move into Halloween. We've got Them Bones is our designer paper. And oh my gosh, you guys, look at this. Can you tell? You probably can't tell. It's glow in the dark. It's glow in the dark paper. So awesome. I can't wait. I know I've got a swap coming my way that uses this. Uh, they die cut a ghost. Um, using this glow-in-the-dark paper. I can't wait to show that card to you when it comes, but you'll have a sheet of the glow-in-the-dark paper to play around, whether you're adding little accents or whether you're die-cutting a whole thing out of it. I think it's going to be really fun. And then in addition to that specialty paper, we've got this 12 by 12 paper called Them Bones. It's our Halloween paper this year. Um, this one has some different sheets, and I showed that better when we had our 12 by 12 in the unboxing video. You could kind of see it has different like rectangles and squares that are different patterns. And then we've got some fun skeletons. And these, I think, can be die cut with the coordinating dies um, called Bag of Bones on page 49. Um, here we got some headstones and the dancing skeletons. I love this one just from the coloring. Um, the colors in this paper are Starry Sky, Pumpkin Pie, Cajun Craze. I think we got a little Orchid Oasis in there too. And then some bats. And then we've got backsides on all being really great for autumn and having nothing to do with Halloween. This one is just stripes. Oh, I think we had a little glitch there. Hopefully we're back on. I don't know what happened. Sorry about that. <laughs> I just saw that all of a sudden it looked like it stopped for a second and froze, but hopefully you guys are all back and watching okay. 
Um, okay, so them bones with the glow-in-the-dark paper. Let me show you some samples. And I've got one I want to stamp up really quick for you, too. Um, so first, I'm going to share the cards. Um, I did this one in a video um, and shared that one with the, the video where I was casing kit cards with new stuff. So I used a little bit of that designer paper and that coordinating stamp set. And then I think I shared this as a sample, but I created this one with my team and our mystery stamping um, this month in Zoom. We do that every month. I have so much fun getting together with the team. Um, I wasn't going to get the Halloween stamp set bag of bones because I usually don't send a lot of Halloween cards. But one of the fun things about um, a stamp set like this, I'm really excited about this one, it's called Throughout the Year, is it has kind of all of the sentiments um, that you need. Sort of a great variety. We got Easter, Happy Holidays, Happiest Birthdays, You Mean So Much to Me, Best of Luck, Be My Valentine, Thank You, Trick or Treat, and Cheer to the new year. So when you sign up for my product share, you can add on this stamp set and save $5. Essentially, I'm going to cover the tax and the shipping for you. And I think you can add this one on for, I want to say $24. I got to double check again. I wanted to make a quick card and show you how, even if you don't get a lot of Halloween stuff, if you're not stamping a lot for Halloween and you don't want to get the bag of bones stamp set, how you can create a card with the designer paper and the throughout the year stamp set or any stamp set um, and use the designer paper to make a variety of cards. So let me move this paper a little bit and bring in, I've got some paper pre-cut. Now this is a black card base and then I have some designer paper that is three inches by four five and a half. And so I'm going to add this to the center of the card. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> Uh, and then I fussy cut this one from a piece of the designer paper. So I don't, I'm going to pretend like I don't have the stamp set and I'm going to choose the sentiment, which comes in the throughout the year, um, stamp set and it says trick or treat. So again, if you don't want to get a Halloween stamp set, but you maybe do want to make a card or two with your Halloween paper from the product share this would be a great way to do that. So I'm going to do trick or treat and I punched an oval and this is from that garden walk suite. Um, I think it's called the modern oval punch. I'm going to cheat and look in the back really quick. Um, yeah, modern oval punch. It's such a great size, a great alternative to circles. So I'm going to just stamp my trick or treat on here. Oh my gosh. So easy. And then we're just going to add these to the card. Is that straight? I don't think that's straight. Let's try it again. Part of the problem may be that my stamp is not straight. Oh, that's perfect. I was just not stamping correctly the first time. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to add these on with some Stampin' Dimensionals. And ta-da! We've got a quick and easy card using the designer paper and this add-on stamp set throughout the year. So if you sign up for the product share, you can add on, I'll give you a little bit of discount on this, um, on this stamp set the throughout the year so that you can make cards using what you get in the product share to make cards for all occasions throughout the year. So let's just add those to our card. Oh, I think that's so fun. All right, so many different ways that you can stamp for Halloween with or without the stamp set and using that throughout the year stamp set. Oh, I was gonna add a little bit of ribbon. I forgot, I was thinking about putting that silver ribbon behind, I don't know, what do you think? Does it need the ribbon? Let me cut a little piece and you can tell me if you think I should add the ribbon or not. Uh, I was just gonna kind of put it behind the, um, behind the oval just to kind of anchor it. I think that's a fun way um, to use a little bit of ribbon is just to kind of anchor the other elements on your card. So I just cut a little um, a slanted edge there. And <laughs> if you've been watching for a while, you know, I uh, just love to tear my cards up. No, I don't love it, but I'm always changing my mind. And that always turns into um, pulling, pulling my cards apart a little bit. Um, okay, so I'm just going to gently take that up and let's see what we think if we just kind of tuck him under here and, oh, I want to go up just a little bit more. I'm going to have to scoot him, him up. 
I don't know if I'm missing your comments. You guys are quiet today. Okay, and then we'll tuck the ribbon or tuck the sentiment back on. What do you think? Yay or nay on the ribbon? Do you like the way that it anchors the sentiment or is it just sort of not needed? Even though this is a Christmas ribbon, I think it goes with the um, winter meadow. Um, I think it's really fun and it like the silver kind of ties in, I think, with the Halloween. Um, we need just a little something to um, to anchor down. I'm going to use a little mini dimensional um, just to anchor down our leg. Oops, I got two in there. So it's not floating around. <laughs> oh, but now you can't see the T. Back up. I'll use a little bit of tear and tape. Okay, now you guys are talking. You like the ribbon. Maybe there's just a delay. <laughs> um, okay, I got to make sure that the... Um, that he's not covering up the letters too much. So I'm gonna go right to the edge there. Okay, let's get our little vacuum. <laughs> Perfect, okay. Halloween, yay! Leave a comment, let me know. Do you send Halloween cards? Like I said, I usually don't send a lot of Halloween cards, so that's why I love the throughout the year because it works for just the couple Halloween cards that I send out that I, you know, the things that I need. Um, and so that's lovely to have a little sample of Halloween paper just to make a few things that I need. And then if you love it, you can buy the whole pack. That's one of my favorite things about the product share is that it's just a great way to sample everything without committing to buying everything right up front. Um, there is no ribbon that's part of this um, them bone sweep, but like I said, you do get that glow in the dark paper. So fun. All right, let's scoot that back here. We've got one more suite of, um, of designer paper, and that one is the Garden Walk. Ooh, ooh, ooh. This one is a favorite of mine, and I think it's really interesting because um, we chose this one to highlight in our Vacation Stamping School demonstrator training, which I've been talking a lot about. Um, and I thought it was so interesting that there was such a mixed reaction from people. A lot of people are not a fan, but I think this suite is really great. The designer paper is six by six, but instead of getting 12 sheets, you get eight different designs. Um, and so you get six each of those eight designs and so instead of four each of 12 you get six each of eight which means that it's really easy if you're a demonstrator to have more of the same pattern to use for your classes this is sort of like an all occasion all around um, designer paper and suite that features flowers i know i know sometimes we uh we've got too many flowers but i think this is just really um really fun and beautiful and i actually have a ton of samples to share with you let me start with the paper um, it is double-sided, and so you've got the busy side with the um, flowers, and then a really great neutral side on the back with some different patterns. Um, the colors are really grand, too. Poppy Parade, Calypso Coral, Garden Green, Wild Wheat, Mossy Meadow, um, and Pretty Peacock. It's that blue. Oh, my gosh. Do you love it? I do. I think this paper is just so gorgeous. And I can't decide which which side I like better because I think they're so versatile and you can use them for so many different things. It does have a coordinating ribbon. It is the braided linen thread and calypso coral. Really, really beautiful. Now, if you're interested in signing up for Vacation Stamping School, it's a demonstrator training event, and registration was supposed to end yesterday, but we have extended it for another week, and so you can still sign up. It's not too late, um, and the swag box that you'll get will include a package of the Garden Walk designer paper and some other um, some other things from this suite. You will um, have seven different class ideas. We're, um, we're doing the mix and match class again, and so you're going to have tutorials to make seven different projects that feature this suite and this designer paper um, that you can use in your business. Plus, there'll be five suite spotlights as well as door prizes, business tips and presentations. You are going to feel so inspired, both creatively and in your business. And so I hope that you'll join us for this virtual event on Saturday, 
September 23rd, 2023. You can sign up right now at tinyurl.com slash vacation stamping school 2023. Team members get a discount of $20. And so make sure that you use that code, the discount code. If you don't have one and you're a team member, just reach out to me and I'll be happy to um, hook you up with that. Let me show you some amazing cards that I have received and made um, with the Garden Walk Suite. Maybe I'll change your mind on this designer paper. This first one is from Susan Campfield using the, um, oh, the name of this embossing folder is escaping me. <sighs> It's right at the tip of my tongue. It's in the annual catalog. Um, and we have this designer paper. And then I love how she took that modern oval punch and she cut it in half for her sentiment. A little bit of the um, ribbon around here too. Calypso Coral, I don't know if you knew this, but Calypso Coral is one of my favorite colors. It has been around since I first started as a demonstrator 21 years ago. And it just makes me so happy. I love this color so much. It used to be in the Earth Elements. If you've been around for a while, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about with Earth Elements. Here's a card that I made same designer paper almost a similar design here um, and then I stamped on the label and use a little pearl on there so I've got petal pink with garden green and calypso coral such a great combination I think you're right Kathy I think the name of that embossing folder is pretty posies thank you so much for helping me jog my memory um, here's a card I received from Julia Mazur. Oh my gosh, I had such a great time. Uh, we got together for lunch and she was working on these swaps. A fun fold. Check this out. You open it up and then it folds out like that. Isn't that cool? She used the layering leaves stamp set as well as the modern garden. Um, and I just thought this was such a fun fun fold and a fun way to use that punch and sentiment. Such, such an awesome card there. Thank you, Julia, for that awesome swap. This one's from Barb Mulliken using um, some different pieces of the designer paper. And this is actually twine from the In Color um, Jute. Um, so this is the Wild Wheat, which is part of the color combination um, in this suite. Here is a swap card. Oh, this one's fun from Tracy Jacobs. And she did sort of this extended card with a white cardstock that folds out. So cool. I love that she cut the modern label punch um, to kind of customize it and make it her own. So it's about one inch wide and she just punched um, so that it has rounded ends. Another unique way to use that punch. Here's one from Michelle Barnes. I got to meet her at Backstage. Oh my gosh, I just love this card. Using some designer paper um, and then cutting into little strips and they match up and then the sentiment in the middle. Wishing you the warm blessings of Christmas. This layout is so great, I think, for any designer paper. Um, I just think it's a fun way to kind of break that up a little bit and especially to add the sentiment on there. Here's one that I designed and made for a card swap. I actually was trying to remember, I made the cards before I left, and this morning I had a few pieces left over, but I didn't take a picture of my swap card, and I can't remember what it looked like. I think maybe I added some gems, and I meant to do that before I went live here, but I think this was it. Maybe the designer paper was different. Um, I, don't, I don't even remember which swap I made it for, but I used Wild Wheat, Pretty Peacock, Poppy Parade, and on that punch, I just turned it vertical and I stamped some of the flowers from the Modern Garden set. Um, such a fun way to coordinate. The colors in here are just really beautiful and nice winter colors, I think. Even though it's not a winter card, it's not like a Christmas card, I think it, it still feels very fall and wintry. And the last card is another swap that I made using some strips of designer paper that are one and a half by four inches and then some mossy meadow as an accent strip, a little bit of that twine, and then I stamped It's Your Birthday from the Modern Garden set. Um, oh, I didn't have this one, but on the, on the samples that I sent out, I did have an inside piece that just had a few more images stamped inside. What do you think of the Modern Garden? Have I changed your mind? Uh, this is the Garden Walk designer paper paper and sweet and it is on page 52 and 53 of the catalog now these pieces just like all the others are included in the product share so you'll be able to try all the designer paper and all the ribbon a six by six piece of all the paper a, a yard of all the ribbon so that you can mix and match and create cards using whatever you have at home um, or getting something new a fun way to save a little bit of money I have a few more card samples um, to share with you in my bucket we have shared over 40 cards um, and I'm gonna add these on to the end this is the translucent floral 
um, bundle. This is one we could get early during Creativity Now. Um, demonstrators had back in June with Stampin' Up. And so these are the three cards we made during Creativity Now. And then in the last episode of Sunday Stamping with Susan and Julie, Mom and I shared um, some card ideas using this bundle as well. So here's the one that Mom created. Um, and then I made this one. And so if you haven't seen that Stamp Along video, be sure to check that out. Um, over on YouTube. I've also got it linked up in the Julie Stamping Spot Share and Connect group right here on Facebook. All right, you guys, that is it for my video today. I just wanted to jump on and kind of go through and show you all of the paper, show you what's included in the product share, what's coming up new in this mini catalog, which starts next week. Um, if you signed up for a product share, watch for an invoice. I'll be sending those out starting tomorrow. Um, I have to wait. Nope, not tomorrow. Thursday. I have to wait until a week before I can order. I can't collect money um, for the product share until a week before I can place the order. So that's that's why I have to wait to send the invoices. So if you signed up already, um, don't worry. I didn't forget about you. You're on the list and I'll be sending those invoices starting on Thursday. If you haven't signed up yet, it's not too late. Go to tinyurl.com SD 2023 product share um, to reserve your product share and you'll get a little bit of everything plus a brand new back pocket card layout that is exclusive to the product share. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I hope that you enjoyed all of the project ideas that I shared. I know I'm going to have many more to come as I receive my other swaps and as I keep crafting with everything from the brand new mini catalog. So be sure to subscribe to my channel, like and follow me here on Facebook so that you don't miss out on all the new ideas that I'll be sharing in the coming weeks and months. Thank you again for tuning in and I will see you next time. I'll be live on Thursday night at the regular time, 7.15 p.m. for Thursday night stamp therapy this week on Thursday. Until then.